Hello everyone, my name is Ozzy, and this is Frostpunk. Frostpunk is a kind of real-time strategy, um, kind of city-building game made by 11-Bit Studios. Actually, the same creators as the game This War of Mine. That was re uh, This game was released April 24th. This War of Mine was released earlier. But this game is absolutely awesome. I've already played, played two of the uh, scenarios that are in here. It is such an awesome, like, thought-provoking game. Um, especially to just not to get political or anything well, not even political but this is uh, just everything dealing with climate change I mean if we keep on going on the track that we're going through this is gonna be the reality of what's gonna happen um, so Frostpunk what this is is a um, game that is set in the near future where due to climate change the entire world has become one big ice storm so it's it's gone into the next ice age and what you do is you have a band of survivors that you have to watch out for and you have to build this city and then one of the biggest things is you have to keep warm um, it's absolutely awesome it's a lot of fun what we're going to be exploring today is actually the endless mode so we're going to give that a try we're actually going to go serenity so what this is the difference between Serenity and Endurance is that Serenity is more for actually like constructing and building while this is more for survival. What I'm planning on doing is kind of going back and forth between these two. So we're going to do this basically until we get bored and then head over to the Endurance. So let's head on over. We're actually going to be trying out Flats. It's a nice gigantic area. We got this. That's good. Cool. Start it out. Just by playing these was absolutely awesome about this, too. I, I've been like this myself, is I love games, movies, TV shows, everything like that, that are kind of realistic to an extent. Whereas, this is not going to end in a happy ending. This is kind of how life is going to be. Um, and be realistic about it. It's, it's uh, awesome. Only problem with this game is that after you finish the scenario, it goes through a little cutscene to kind of tell you if you did good or bad, and every single time you go through, it's basically going to tell you what kind of a piece of shit you are. So, off we go into this. Let's see what we got for our local surroundings. Um, sure, we'll go Aurora. Um, okay, so we got some stuff that's kind of near me, so we can back up. That's, that's a nice gigantic area. I like this. All right. So what we have in the middle of this thing that's right here is what's called the generator. So we're going to actually need to get, get going and get some life. stuff. There's the coal. So, like I said earlier, biggest thing about this game is warmth. So, so we have to get coal going. So we have coal, wood, and then metal as well. We're going to need some metal too. We're going to put 10 people on there. We're gonna need wood, like it is going out of style. Um, the other cool list, we'll go to this one. There we go. And we need to build some tents. Um, right there, 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 and there. Okay, so the main reason what I'm basically kind of doing is I'm setting up shelter for all of my people. We're, we're really worried about the shelter just because we obviously want to have some place where it's decently warm for everybody. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. We're going to speed up time a little bit. As we can see up here, we have our... Um, basically how cold it is outside our ambient temperature, which we're at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what's really cool is we actually have kind of a weather forecast that's off to the right, so we can see that at about 5 days, our temperature's going to drop. It's probably going to drop to negative 20. Um, we have to watch out for this, because it'll slowly start getting colder and colder, and then at one point is when a frost storm is going to happen. So that's right at the bottom right here. So in 14 days, so in 2 weeks, we're going to have a frost storm. Um, in the Endless, I've heard that the frost storms kind of only last one day, thankfully. Um, I know in one of the, uh, um, 
scenarios. I mean, a frost storm lasted like an entire week, and it was freaking scary. I thought everybody was gonna freaking die. So, we definitely wanna watch out for that. We're gonna move over here now, so we're gonna go cookhouse. We gotta make sure we get some food going, and hunter's hut, right there. Bit. Uh, we also need to make a medical post real quick, so we'll do that right here. And we'll go with this. I like to kind of speed things up a little bit. All right. So another thing too, and again, this goes back to the whole realistic thing. Let's we'll see this. Real quick. Oh, yeah. We need to turn this on. Probably be a good thing. Team level one. There we go. And heat is being created. Yeah, this is really important. We want to make sure you have a little conditions for everybody. So really cool. I do like this, how the frost will actually start like evaporating because of the heat that's coming off. And we need to staff everybody as well. That's another thing. Max and Max. Cool. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah and yeah. And yeah. house all right so yeah like I was saying one of the realistic things about this is that when you have a day and night cycle your workers are not going to last throughout the entire night so um, you're gonna have to give them a break so their working period goes from I think eight to six um, that's on here, or 8 to 5, something like that. Um, later on, you can have this thing right here, the book of laws, go to adaptation. So adaptation is actually, like, a beginning operating. So I go to, like, extended shift, that's right here, and I'll extend it, like, 6 to 8 at that point. But we need to start making some decisions. First thing is, I think we're going to address strat labor. So... Again, really, this is a really dark game. You have to decide if you're going to take the children who do not grow up. They stay children. Are we going to go ahead and build shelters for the children and be nice and like that? Or do we want to implement child labor and get a workforce going? So, unfortunately, I'm going to kind of be an asshole. We're going to go ahead and sign into law child labor. Start off by just giving them just safe... Workplaces. So, cookhouse, take that, and then, cool. Which is really bad, you'll get people that are on the bottom that, like, are really pissed about certain things. They're not gonna like how certain things go, but we need the workforce. Again, it, this is not about being nice, this is about surviving. We have to survive. So, this is very, very important. Got that. What is our next thing we need to get? Oh, yeah, we need to start creating stuff. So we're going to build some mines. We're going to do one coal mine just for the time being. And one steel works. Oh, and we need a workshop. So workshops, what those basically do is it um, researches... Oh, cool. Okay. So workshops research technology for you. So you have an a gigantic technology tree, which as soon as that gets done being built, we'll be able to take a look at that. We're going to want to build some streets real quick. Streets. Oh, we need more wood. Okay, so we're going to have to wait until later for that. So, okay, people are finally starting to kind of wake up. We need to build some more tents, too. We have five people. So this right here means that we have five people that are homeless. So we'll build one more tent, actually. Right there. What? Did go? Alright. Right, we'll, they'll collect more wood today. Okay. Get going! Employ the engineers in here, 
And so this is our big technology tree. So we have heating, exploration, industry, resources, and food, health, and shelter. All of these are equally as important. You can have as much heat as you want, but if you don't get food and health going, your people are going to die. So these are all via, via kind of like tech levels. So you actually have to spend resources to research and unlock these different tiers. So we got all that. I believe audio research speaking, that's good. Um, we are going to get into Hunter's gear. Um, we're going to make sure we have the wood for that first. <laughs> And then uh, we'll get into that. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Let me go ahead and do that. Hunter's gear. So, Hunter's gear. Um, Thanks to better snowshoes and his camouflage. Hunter's setting out for the hunt, Hunter's hut. We're going to turn with more raw food from each hunt. So, up to 20 raw food per hunt. So, we're going to start that. So, what happens basically is you have a Hunter's hut right here. And during the night, they will set set out to go ahead and find animals that have survived the frozen winterland to basically for everybody to eat. So very, very important. Next thing we need to get into actually now thinking about it is we need to get a beacon going. So what a beacon does, we're gonna go to tech beacon. And we're gonna go, we're actually gonna place it right here. So beacon is very, very important. What that does is that sends out a beacon to every surrounding area that we exist. Um, there is a huge, huge map. Um, you can create expedition parties to go out and check out places in the frozen land, um, just in case that there are survivors, extra resources. That's gonna be really important, especially when dealing with steam cores, which are this. We've already spent one steam core on here. So when you have kind of a higher tech um, building, they need their own. I believe it's supposed to be like a power source, which is going to be that steam core. So if you don't have that going, it's, yeah. And there. There. we don't have any people available for that so what we're gonna do people that I have gathering cold here we're gonna take you off and place you on here that's cool we'll do that and steel so who do I have trying to get steel for me that's a coal pile right there there we go steel so none on the steel pile and all to the steel pile. Oh, steel works, excuse me. Oh, so that will get going. So we'll start building that. And these are not good, so we'll do adaptation. Um, what are we going to do next? Next thing, actually, we go down to here. So one of the big things, obviously, you got to feed your population. So let's go out of food additives, which is... Yeah, they add sawdust to the meals. It makes it more filling, so they're not going to eat as much. Or go soup. It'll basically, what, the raw food that you have coming in will make more food rations, more food meals. But people ain't going to be happy about it. But, oh well, you got to do it. So, we'll do that. Another thing to worry about, too. So we look down here, we see these things flash, and we have hope and discontent. So hope is people's hope that they'll actually live through this, and discontent is people that are just get pissed. So if you have a high discontent, they'll try to overthrow you. If you have low hope, they'll try to overthrow you. You have to watch out for all that. I do have to say, this game has an amazing soundtrack. I do love this. Oh, so we've got that. Our beacon is almost done. Cool, beacon's done. So, can we... Not enough wood to create an expedition party just yet. So that's alright. As soon as we get enough wood, we're going to try and see if we can get that expedition party going. Alright, during the night. So those are our hunters that are going out. We got that finally going, which is good. Things are looking pretty good so far. Good. Oh, 
children. We'll have the children going ahead and gather resources. And then I'll have some of the engineers go out on that expedition party to see if we can bring some more people in. Because we need the people. Currently right now, it looks like we have a population of 105. We have five children that can get to work. But no safe jobs yet. That's alright. Oh, workers, excuse me. We'll put the children to work. We have five workers and ten engineers. So we'll send the five... No, we'll send the five engineers to go ahead and go on that expedition. We'll just have this working away, so that's good. Alright, we have enough now. It's work time. Great. So this is work. the frozen wasteland. It is huge. So we need to send them somewhere. So let's look. Radio station, Baron Hollow, large pit... So we're gonna go radio station. It'll take them one day and four hours to get there. All right. So another thing too to think about: go to technology dream, go to exploring and exploration, and everything like that. More scouts, lighter scout sleds. So the farther down we can get, the better technologies we can go ahead and develop. So this will make our scouts that much faster. We actually got a sick person, so let's look at this. So, we got two choices on how to take care of the sick. Radical treatments or sustained life. So, the big difference between the two. Sustained life. The gravely ill, the really, really sick. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. Whereas, radical treatment is we'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from the face of surgery to amputations. So that is, you freaking save these people no matter what. Kind of goes for the whole thing of life over the limb. So if you have a dude that has horrible, horrible frostbite, he's getting amputated. And that leads to the care home that's down here. And then that leads to something called prosthetics, which we could actually put him back to work with prosthetics. So we're going to go to radical treatment because we need to cure the family of what finally happens. The only problem is you have to watch out for that. Is, so, child internet work, get the kid the day off. Uh, that's what else price. So, when you make decisions like that, that will affect what's going on around you. So if we look, we saw hope kind of fell a little bit with that controversial law and discontent raised with that controversial law. So, not good, but at the same time, we still got to take care of things around us. Uh, let's see. What, oh, well, we don't have enough wood right now. We need more wood. Um, let's speed that up a little bit. Master, re uh, master gathering, yay. Okay. Let's look at what's next. So we're good. We're good. We're going to research heaters. Actually, no. We're going to research the first. Okay, we need more blood. We're going to research heaters. Okay, so the next thing we're going to research is going to be the. Um, 
uh, the first level, that first tier. We need to get that going, especially, to, oh yeah. We unfortunately have a temperature drop coming up. Thankfully, it's only going to last a day and it'll rise back up, but we need to watch out for that. Work day ends. It's hot time. All right, let's speed this up a tad bit. To our rider scouts look like they're going to arrive in about 10 hours to the first place. Let's see what happens over there. Alright, how long do we have left? We have 12 days before the first storm. Alright, everybody's starting to wake up now. It's 5 o'clock. Mother. Mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. She's afraid she might get injured. Um, nice. I have a day off. Hope we'll rise slightly. might be good. <laughs> uh, and the thing too is, and again, this is all in the name of survival. You have to let your people survive. But you really have to question your morals when you do this. Um, just because, I mean, even though it may not be the right thing morally, it's going to be the right thing in the eyes of everybody. This is very much a game of... Um, sacrifice, feed for the name of many kind of thing, yeah. Which again is horrible, but you gotta make, you gotta, you gotta give it a chance. All right. Um, I think we're probably gonna have some dead coming up pretty soon, so we need to look at this. So again, two different things. We have a cemetery, established burial grounds, so we can lay our rest with dignity and respect, or corpse disposal where we'll keep dead bodies out of the heat zone and cover them with snow. The cold will halt their decay. Um, building snow pit. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. Interesting. More cemetery. Cemetery. Hope will rise slightly. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You'll have to establish a cemetery. Um, we are going to go cemetery. In reason being, uh, we need to watch for our hopes. Let's see how much our hope just freaking uh, jumped. That's good. So we're going to go... Oh, it's already a people cemetery. We're going to go right here. Because it fits well in the circle. So that'll be good. Um, we go on ahead and provide that. That's actually provide some, uh, I think, hope as well. So to establish, hope rises a lot. We got a good amount of hope. I'm happy with that. What are we doing on this? We got two hours before that's done. Oh, and they just arrived. So let's explore. Hey. Radio station, the mast was old, so rusty, you wonder it didn't collapse, taking it apart would be difficult, but should yield some usable steel. Yay, we got some coal and steel from that. Frozen Hulk. Let's check it out. So what's cool, again, as we keep on getting more um, tech trees open, uh, we'll be able to get some more scouts. Which I think that might be one of the first things that we end up researching as soon as we're done with this. Less than an hour, so we're almost done. Yes. All right. Add new research. Drawing boards. We need some more wood. Oh lord. And now we're good for wood. <laughs> All right. Drawing boards. Upgrade. Cool. think about it as well and this is when it comes to storage and everything so this thing constantly has to use coal right so this is how we're getting our coal currently which is through the coal mine if we don't have anybody working at the coal mine because it's free time then you're not generating any coal so you gotta watch out for that up top currently right now we have about six days of coal which is good 
Um, that means we're on the right track. Let's go back to adaptation. Um, let's go fighting arena. So we like fight arena because evening iron bouts will reduce discontent. We don't want to have a whole bunch of discontent get overthrown. So we're gonna go ahead and create that. A new law fighting has arena. Passed. We're gonna go. Make sure to uh, get that going. So, Wrap up well. oh, and we've got that first drop in temperature. Area built. Thankfully, everybody is still in decent condition. Uh, except for these porch blocks. That's not good. So, to address that. We are going to build. Uh, we'll, it's going to suck, but they're going to be chilly for a little bit. Level rations for kids, the quick rations for her. Double the rations make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Sure, we don't have that many kids. Oh, that was not a good idea. I don't know why I just did that. Yeah, that, that that's okay. That's okay. We'll make it work. All right, folks. Oh. Converted cruiser. Used to be part of the Royal Navy. Her armaments were removed. So they make room for supplies. There's still plenty of coal and steel left to salvage. Yay! Empty shelter. Let's check out this one. Or. Nah, we'll do empty shelter. Yeah, I wish we had that second person. So we need to get more as far as wood goes. No, we're actually going to look at two resources. We have wall drill, right? Yeah. Is there anything closer? No. So that's all right. So wall drill, what that does, go right here, that's right thing. So what a wall drill does is frozen trees that are in the wall over here, those will get drilled out and that will be a steady um, increase in wood, which is actually really awesome. We could do a sawmill to get these, but that has just kind of proven to be kind of I mean, we could possibly do it, but that, the good thing about this is, again, constant wood. It's an infinite amount of wood. The bad thing is, is that it costs a steam port. So, that's just something to kind of think about for that. Okay, we need to go back to here. Oh, no, we need wood. Wood greatness.
Got that. Now let's get some people to work this. Yay. Alright. Got that going. We actually have a good amount of rewards. Let's go to research. Nutrition study. More scouts. We're going to immediately go to that. Oh, we got a nice amount of wood coming in. I'm happy with that. What we are going to do, though, we need another hunter's hut. Oh, food, hunter's hut. Let's go right here for the time being. We kind of speed that along. Oh, we need to do another law on the, the laws. We're going to do child labor all jobs for this one. This is bad. I'm a horrible person. My child looks really sad. But we got to live. Listen, everyone. What New day law is size. Time off. Sorry, Brasky. Shelter Explorer. What do here? Hilltop base? Hell yeah. Might be some people there. Alright. Hunter's Hut. We need workers for that. So. Workers. Good. We some children. 14 workers. That. Range upgrade will further the distance that the generator actually uh, affects. I don't want to do that. And just reached the hilltop base. Explore. Uh, only resources. That kind of sucks. But there'd be people. Um, supply trailer. Rock formation. Let's go supply trailer. I think this is going to wrap this up for the first video. We're going to go ahead and try to do a series for this. Um, again, like I said before, we're going to be doing Serenity first, then Endurance, kind of see how we go. Uh, for those that are watching these, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. If not, no worries, and have a great day.